Alright, I gave up on the sandblaster. It was driving me nuts. It was getting in my shoes. It's hot out there. I just forget about it. So I uh, went to the front of the shop and got the power washer. And that seems to have done a pretty good job actually. Got all the grease off. I don't see any rust actually, so I guess the grease was protecting it all, which was a good thing. So once I did all that, I greased the, the crap out of it. These are soaking wet. There's no water up here at all. No water on that side. That's just from my hand. My the rag is just as wet as I am. There's no water down here in the channel. There's a space here, about one inch by about one and a half inches deep. However, if I let this run like it is, we are going to have water build up right there. And I can't tell where it's coming from. It's not dripping. I have no idea where it's coming from. I don't, I don't, I don't. There, see it? Here it comes. You guys see that? But there's nothing up here. So where else is it coming from? It seems to be starting right there. See it? The only thing I can possibly think of is that maybe there's just a little drip coming from some place and when I wipe back up there or feel, I don't feel it because it's not there anymore. It's just a hit and miss, which means I can raise the uh, air conditioner a little bit. See how an air conditioner works, these window units, they kind of sit in a splash pan only about the AP. It's part of the, the actual framing. And the fan is in there. So when these things sweat, 
that pan fills up with some water and it helps keep the air conditioner cool because as the fan blows by it it sucks that water up into the air conditioner and cools down the back end so can I be off just enough to where that's causing a problem I'm thinking probably so. so I'm gonna, yeah, now it's gonna get wet. I feel, I feel water down here again. All right, let me prop this up a little bit. Let's see if that'll help. Where do I want to go? They're both of equal distance. Let's go this way. I gotta rinse this down while I'm out here. I might be able to show you what I'm talking about more out here. Yeah. Okay, see this little pin here? Down this here, little dripping. See the water down in there? I don't know if you can see it or not. See it right here? So I think I gotta prop this back a little bit more. Because there's a fan behind that, and as the fan turns, the vortex from the fan sucks the water up and splashes it around inside against these things. It boils. And that's what happens. So I gotta prop up the front of this a little bit, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Alright, let me hose this down real quick. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of little things done, which is good. I'm gonna leave the air compressor. I mean the sandblaster right there for now. However, I do want to get the sand out of the way. I don't want the boys to be getting the little results. Getting a lot of little things done. Uh, like I said the other day, I fixed the tractor because between the lift arm here and the bucket, this plate, the pins start to wear, or the, not so much the pins, but the hole and the plate that the pins were sliding in. The plate started getting a little divot in it, and the pins started to wear a little bit. And it was giving me almost a half inch of slop in here. So uh, what I did was I took a piece of rebar. Eh, I'll show you the video anyway. And uh, cleaned it down so it didn't look like a rebar. And I made it just enough to where I could slam it in there and fit it. And I drilled a hole in each end of it. And then I put the carter pin in there. 
I still want to bend those carter pins a little bit more and then uh, at that point we're all set and I greased everything from there to here to here now there's still two one two three four more grease fittings underneath but I'll do those when I get under there to change the oil uh, here's one here I got to do there's another one right up in here that I have to do there's a couple here's another one here that's the one that was back there there's another one in here there's one here there's one here and there's another one there's a hole here someplace uh, that I gotta put it in there's a one there that's for the main pivot there's another one underneath these lines down here there's another one on the other side and uh, the stabilizers don't have any yeah, there's the other one right there. Oh, and there's another one down in there. And there's another one up underneath down here that I got to get to. Whoops. When I uh, get underneath. But I'll probably do that over the weekend. It's hot. And they're talking this kind of heat for a while. So we'll see what happens. Now I do want to go over and get some uh, pavers, these things. I've got piles of them around here someplace. I keep piling them up. Um, and I'm going to put them in front of that, I don't know, three deep, two deep, something so that one is when you're sitting there, it brings it up so it catches you right in the knee joint and that uh, you're not standing either in grass or in mud so I gotta take care of that all right let's go back in here now I put bird seed out real bird seed $24 a bag bird seed and uh, they're not eating it they like the dog food, the crackers, the uh, shredded wheat cereal. <laughs> That's okay. 